here, nephew. I am going on a journey and may never come back. Please come find me at my house in Sleepyville. Castle Heist Episode 1 is the first installment of a three-part series by Swedish developer Gotha Games. Set in your traditional medieval kingdom, Castle Heist takes players on a winding adventure full of sneaking, waiting, reading, crouching, and more waiting. Like most stealth games, Castle Heist forces players to slow down, evaluate their surroundings, and plan out the best approach to any objective. Or, at least that's what it tries to do. With questionably omniscient guards and an unclear definition of the word hidden, players will all too often find themselves shot to death when they otherwise felt utterly concealed. The lack of a clear set of rules for what counts as hidden and what counts as standing in the open with a bright neon sign over your head derails the game entirely, and everything onward becomes a 50-50 gamble. I don't mind waiting 3 minutes for a guard to pass on patrol, but I'll lose my mind if he sees me through the stone calm at the 2 minute and 59 second mark. Apart from questionable stealthing, the game itself is rather bland. The environments are pretty enough, but the lack of NPCs, collectibles, or actions leaves something to be desired. If the first episode actually lasted longer than 40 minutes, I might even say it was boring. There were a few interesting, if unannounced, side objectives, such as listening in on guards, Why are we guarding this creepy place again? But apart from an achievement and a couple minutes of Masterpiece Theater dialogue, there wasn't much point to it all. Main missions were entirely linear, and the lack of punishment from dying at the hands of the guards took out all of the stakes. A good stealth game should have you on the edge of your seat, counting in your head the seconds until a patrol passes by and leaves you an opportunity to sneak around. Castle Heist, by comparison, leaves the door wide open with a sticky note saying, do not enter. In the end, I gave episode 1 two and a half stars. There's plenty of room for improvement for the next two installments, and I can only hope that Gotha Games takes what they learned from episode 1 and applies it to the next two. Don't forget to check out my full review, and as always, this is Johnny Ohm with Gizarama. Thanks for watching.